What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. I am uh, randomly, in some way, out here off the coast of Texas <laughs> with a mullet man. We're back, man. You guys remember from our elk hunt in New Mexico that we yes, did sir. with uh, Dreo? We've got Braden. Braden. Braden Sharon taking us spear fishing today. Can My first time awesome doing time. legit spear fishing. Conditions are perfect today. I told them it's going to be calm. Uh, we got super clear water. We're going to show these guys a little bit of what we do here down in the Gulf on the coast of Texas. We're going to be going after mangrove snapper, maybe some red snapper, really whatever eats good. So hopefully get these guys tight on a fish, maybe have some, some barracuda shot, have some drags pulled. and So snapper, we're going to be time. using the spear, Yeah. fishing guns. Man, I've been dying. How about you, Shad? You getting in? I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna fish for sure. I might get in. It's pretty hot, you know. I can cool it's off. pretty hot. <laughs> It'll feel yeah. good when you get in. Well, I always wanted to do like a legit spear fishing. Um, I always thought I would end up doing it in Florida sometime. I never got the chance, and Mike invited us to out here to to do it with his buddy. So we got the perfect gear, and honestly, these guys are the experts at this. So we've got the setup that I think anybody would would dream to do so i feel super fortunate to do it we got gopros done this in some fresh water back home did some tilapia but not even on the same level so luckily we're here with uh brayden he knows what's he, what he's doing and uh by the way you know everybody here's got the youtube channel i'll put all the links in the description box but if you guys want to see more of this underwater spear fishing stuff go check out brayden's channel it'll be in the description let's go cowboy yes sir oh i'm gonna hit you dog <laughs> All right, from here. Get in. Radio check, film check, we got cameras. Everybody's got cameras. So we're getting suited up, the wetsuit. Um, Braden's got all kinds of stuff. So yeah, it looks good. I got plenty of space on the GoPro, got a full battery. So we're gonna dive in and see what's up man but there's already a whole bunch of fish you can just see from up here <laughs> there's fish all over here all right guys here we go for the first dive of the day um, I say this throughout the video, but this is really the first time I've been able to do this in open water, in deep water. So I've been able to spearfish a couple times in Hawaii, just using a Hawaii sling, and then some freshwater spearfishing here in Utah, just using a very small spear gun. So this was the largest spear gun that I've ever used. I knew it was going to take me some time to get used to loading it um, and reloading it. So at first I just decided I would get comfortable with my breathing, I would cruise around the surface of the water and just go after some of these spade fish which actually make great fillets. So right here the key was just to move slow and these fish would basically come right to you. There's plenty of them to, to hunt, there's plenty of them to shoot and they, they make great fillets like I said. So I just sat around the boat for a while and went after these spade fish. Just wanted to get comfortable with the gun. And uh, as you can see right here, it wasn't very hard to get a couple of these to the boat. But it was definitely a good time and good practice before I decided to really try to dive down into these oil oil rigs like Braden and Mike do. Um, these guys are professionals. Braden has been doing this for years. He's really fun to watch. Uh, you'll see some clips of him later as he goes down and and hunts these big snapper but i just got a couple spade fish got them to the boat and ben helped me out load them up and it was a good Big time off. man oh, it was good practice and great fun heck yeah got one he said the shark came in there's a shark and a dolphin really shoot after we got that first spade fish to the boat decided to go back down and reload and this took some practice for me for those of you who hasn't spearfished, at least as a beginner, I would say that there's just a lot going on between your mask, your snorkel, uh, your gear, and obviously your spear gun. So this took me a minute just to get used to reloading this, 
But once I got it down, I gained a lot of confidence. It was killing my chest to pull on these guns. So those, those guys who do this a lot, major props to you guys for being able to pull that back so easily. Right here, I could see that silver flash down there and I could see that Braden had shot a big snapper. So this was the biggest fish I had seen up to this point of the day. So I was pretty excited for him because I know these red snappers make great fillets. And uh, I knew he would most likely send us home with some if he shot a bunch and we weren't able to get any. But yeah, this is a great fish. You can see that's a big red snapper. And we got that to the boat and on ice. <laughs> that is so cool. Good boys. After getting a few spade fish to the boat, I decided to uh, swim more towards the rig and just check out what's going on over there. I saw that these guys were shooting a lot more fish than I was and different species as well. So right here I can see this barracuda, but just not being comfortable with the gun and knowing its capabilities, I decided not to shoot at it. Um, but at this point we had seen dolphins in here, we had seen sharks, uh, we saw a hammerhead shark. So after building up some confidence, getting my breathing down, and getting used to this gun, I decided it's time to actually take a dive down into the oil rig and see if I can't find myself a snapper or a barracuda. So right here, this is my first dive down. And again, I'm plugging my nose and blowing out my ears trying to depressurize, and I couldn't get down that far, to be honest. I, I got uncomfortable about halfway down and came back to the surface of the water. But I've done this before, I knew I was able to do it, so I decided to take a deep breath and dive down again right here and see if I can't get myself one of these mangrove snapper. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hold on. I, I got it. I don't have a knife or anything. You're good, You're good. I got it. Get him in the boat first. Oh, sweet. That was so dope, dude. That was like my first dive. Yeah. Well, once we got the fish in the boat, I decided to go deeper into the oil rig and Braden was nice enough to kind of guide me through and uh, help me hunt some of these fish. Again, I'm not always for sure which species we can and cannot shoot, but he made it clear that I can get down here and hunt this barracuda if I chose to. So. It was chill and I decided to make a slow approach to it and see if I can get a shot on him. <laughs> so I didn't notice it at the time, but Braden also filmed it from his angle, so that's me going down just trying to approach the fish slowly and later he told me that that crossbar is about 31 feet deep that's the deepest I got the entire trip and for me that was a pretty good push to get all the way down there uh, pressurize or depressurize my ears and then come up and you can see Braden he had the knife on him I didn't so he just gave it a nice little poke to put this fish down we got it to the boat and we been eating good you forgot a cooler Spear gun. Mean, dude. He's got fishing hooks in him. Oh. Behind us. Behind us. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Dang, dude. We're in the zone, guys. That's pretty sweet. We're going to put him in the ice chest. All right, guys. We just got out of the water. It's noon. We're going to get some food and water. We've been out uh, spear fishing. We got him another snapper. A good one. A good mangrove. Yeah, that'll make some great fillets, huh? Ceviche, sashimi, or cook it however. So what, we got mangrove snapper, red snapper. Is that what that is? This is a red snapper in here. This one is a mangrove. Okay, and then we have sheep head. 
Pizza. Barracuda. Fish, barracuda. That's all got some variety fun. down there, huh? Dang, man, that was fun. That was everything I thought spear fishing in this type of condition would be. So we're gonna rest up and then we'll get back out of it. But hopefully, some of that GoPro stuff got some of the uh, some of the shots on film. I was like, "Where's my?" Mouth? Here's my phone. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> Grab my phone. Shoot. All right. What are you guys working on there? Hey, don't be. <laughs> well, so we were down diving. My goggles kept fogging up. I was trying to Braden be nice. Was like, Braden, Braden was being nice. He was like, here, use mine so I, so I could go down deep and get a snapper. So he takes his goggle off, goggles off, and I take mine off, and I hand him mine. I'm like, here's my mask. Five minutes later, where's mine? Or I'm like, where are yours at? He's like, I handed them to you. I'm like, no, you did it. So he puts my, my goggles on, looks down, he's like, yep, they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. Just go get them. Yeah, it's only... If only the bottom was clear. Yeah. It's just way too murky. Well, after eating some lunch and getting rehydrated, we moved to a new oil rig. So this was fresh water. And we noticed that the after you know fishing the last rig for quite some time, the fish were definitely spooked and they headed straight down into the murk. So Braden was nice enough to just go without a gun for the most part on this rig and just get some video of Mike and I diving and spear fishing. So this is Mike going down. You can see he can get way down there and be very comfortable and kind of hunt around. That's pretty tough for me to do, to be honest. I'm kind of a get down there and get back up as quick as I can. But Mike's got this down pretty good. He's been able to go with Braden a few times. And that just kind of comes with, that confidence comes with just doing it. So right here, you can see there's tons of fish on this rig. Mike dives down and just tags this really, really nice mangrove snapper. And I was kind of cruising behind him and with the flashing of the fish and, and just kind of the chaos, it started to attract these big barracudas. So I can see this really big barracuda coming from the dark underneath us who was coming up and he just looked like he was coming to check things out, possibly try to get Mike's fish. So you'll see me kind of in the background take a dive down and I can see that this giant barracuda was just chilling. So I went down there and got him and we both doubled up right here. It was a pretty exciting moment to capture it on film. Uh, so thanks to Braden for filming this. And Braden did the honor to, to uh, wrangle it in and this thing still had a lot of power in it, man. When that fish would kick, it still had a lot of power in it as you can see right there, kicking up all the whitewash. But we got our second barracuda to the boat. This was by far the biggest fish I've ever speared. Uh, pretty exciting moment for me. And I just want to say thank, I just want to say thanks to Braden for taking us out. He had the panga boat, he had all the gear, and really all I had to do is show up and you know have fun. So uh, thanks to Braden and thanks to Mike for kind of putting this trip together. Had a blast. And right here we're just kind of celebrating and getting this fish to the boat. Dang, that was a sweet scenario. These two were kind of around the corner and uh, I saw that Mike had shot a snapper. This barracuda was going for a snapper and I just started really, really slow going right at it and it gave me the perfect shot and speared him right in the gills. Another nice car not carabuda, barracuda. Carabuda. Look at that thing. <laughs> Dude, so sweet. The, the teeth bro. on that thing is unreal. But there are so many fish on this one. So I'm gonna take care of it with Ben and then we're gonna back, get back in and get it. But hopefully we got that on camera. Look at that fish. <laughs> Dang, dude. Oh. <laughs> if he had razors on the end of those, I would have been cut up. That's the one that was following my bait. <laughs> well, I got him for you. Fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get bit. <laughs> well after taking care of the barracuda and getting him on ice we decided to hop back in and try for just a few more of these mangrove snappers because these snappers eat so well um, we're fill, trying to fill the freezer for all of us including ben um, who unfortunately just didn't want to jump in the water he was, wasn't feeling too good so mike went down he went down deep as you can see and there's still a ton of fish on this rig 
and he tags this mangrove snapper so that's just one more fish for the ice box and we were just so stoked to get so much meat on this trip that's really what it was for and at the end of this you're going to see all the different fish that we filleted we vacuum sealed them cleaned them up and froze them which made for easy travel on the way home but this last fish for me was pretty cool because I could see these snapper were using this big beam as you know cover and a hiding spot so I decided to come around the corner and see if I can get one myself and what do you know he presented a shot and this was my last fish for the trip I was pretty stoked because I only shot a few of these mangrove snappers I never did get down deep enough to shoot one of those big reds that Braden got but again he was nice enough to send us home with some meat so we definitely loaded up on this again, trip. but so far man this is a lot of fun exactly what I thought it'd be like when you have just the right conditions and a very uh, high density population of fish so super fun excited to jump back in the next spot see some new ground or structure or whatever it is we're gonna be fishing and do it again pretty cool little place right here though man pretty gnarly Yeah, I got quite a bit of fish to clean. Yeah, it's good. It's a good problem get... to have. Look at that bag of fish. Holy cow, dude. Sheesh. Oh, shoot, it's cratering. What you shooting in the head for, bro? Well, guys, we are just back to the dock so we can get some ice on these fish. They're actually super, super cold still. We want to get um, some new ice on them for travels. And then we're going to take them back. We're going to um fillet them we're gonna cook some of these up so we'll meet you guys back at the house and show you guys some of the preparation to get these fish on fillets and then michael man them man the grill or whatever he's gonna cook them on and cook us up a bunch so we'll see you at the house well we made it back to the house after a little bit of a um super hot ferry ride across the way but we've got the fish on the ice and uh mike's getting to it already this is one of the smaller barracudas that's some pretty good looking meat. Check that out. Hush. Dang. Hush life. Look at the size of that. Filet. So we decided not to cook some tonight. We're uh, pretty tuckered out. And uh, we've got some food on delivery coming here. So we're going to go fillet these. And go out and grab some dimmer. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm so tired. Dimmer. We're gonna play these, grab some dinner, and then go maybe relax by the pool right before last light. But get after it. Look at that big old hunk of meat. Mm -hmm. Is there bones right there? Mm -hmm. You see that flying fish? All right, I'm, I'm tore up, wore out, but I'm sure we'll film something after this. <laughs> so stay tuned. We got some red snapper, some mangroves. Mm. All right, we're uh, vacuum sealing it all. What about in the freezer? It's a big old steak. I know those are big meaty. I'm interested to see how that one tastes. Food savers are sweet. I've got one at home. This is like an updated model, but throw in the vacuum seal button, let it do the work. We're gonna have a lot of fish to take home. This is day one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got one more video from this fishing trip where we wet wade. We catch sea trout and we also fish for big red. So great video that also includes a catch and cook. So you don't want to miss it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next video.